All right, guys, that was a lot more stressful than it probably needed to be, but it's done. Seahawks go into New York to play the 1-5 Giants, send them to 1-6, 24-7. Um, <clears throat> I usually never make videos in the middle of games like that, but I was just so irritated that I just I wanted to tell somebody, so I decided we'll, we'll get back to that a little later. So today, obviously the first thing you want to do, huge props to the defense. I thought they were going to play a great game today. They had no excuse to not play a great game today, and they did. Uh, the Giants <clears throat> had less than 50 yards rushing, less than 150 yards passing, and that's with their garbage time drive at the end of the game, by the way. You take away that last uh, garbage time drive, and Giants might have had less than 150 total yards of offense. So, huge, huge shout out to those guys completely controlling this whole game. K.J. Wright committed a couple of bad penalties, but played a big game. Bobby Wagner, monster. Bradley McDougan, McDougald, excuse me. Great game by him. Uh, Jerron Reed, that dude is a beast. Had the strip sack that turned this game around and gave it to us on a more permanent basis. Had some other big plays in there. Jerron Reed is looking like he's a future star. And um, if you're every other team in the league, the last thing you wanted to see was the Seahawks using a relatively low draft pick on a defensive lineman who ends up becoming a legitimate star. He can rush the passer and stuff the run. So... Jerron Reed, that's a dude that I'm really going to spotlight right now as a positive. <clears throat> Richard Sherman, great game. Denied the um, um that first drive long touchdown to, to a Tavares King. It, you know, it was a blown coverage. He was beat, and he got back in the play and tipped it away at the last second. Beautiful stuff. Shaquille Griffin, how great is it that we're going to have this guy under rookie control for the next three years? He goes out there, and he's not perfect, but I'll be damned if he doesn't contribute a lot to this team and the only thing you can be critical of the defense for would be the penalties we had a lot of penalties on defense today had a lot of penalties on the team as a whole which I mean I understand that you have to deal with it when you have a defense that plays the way we do but 15 penalties over a 60 minute game is not okay and I have to believe there's something you can do to get that number down to you know, eight. Cut it in half. You're still one of the league leaders in penalties, but I can deal with that. I can't deal with 15 against a decent team. That 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 kills you. Didn't kill us today, luckily. Um, yeah, yeah, defense. The only thing you can really say about them is Evan Ingram got loose for a couple of nice catches in this game. Six catches for 60 yards and a touchdown, but you're not going to hold down an NFL offense, no matter how bad it is, completely for four whole quarters. You're going to give up a few things. And in this case, we gave up an 18-yard touchdown drive, which I'm not going to put on the defense really at all. And we gave up a couple of big plays to a tight end. I'm good. I'm good. So, yeah. Credit to those guys. They did their job. Offense. There's some stuff to be happy about. There's some stuff to be unhappy about. But, I'm just going to go ahead and say it, for the first time all season, this offense what looked good in the first quarter, in the second quarter even. Um, we, we've all seen it. These first five games of the season, we saw an offense that it took about 20 to 25 minutes for the offense to even wake up and even think about doing anything in most of these games. We, we weren't even moving the ball into opposing territory. It was just a dead offense. <clears throat> and today we saw opening drive, we moved the ball, a couple of negative plays made us punt, we get the ball back, we drive down to the one yard line, we don't punch it in obviously, but finally, after all these games of just watching bullshit for 20 to 25 minutes at the start of every game, the offense did work in that first quarter, and that is more important than anything else you can take away from this game except for the win. Now, the fact that we were able to move the ball as much as we did in that first half and not score any points until there were you know, less than a minute left in the half, 
people made mistakes. Uh, Russell Wilson running around in the backfield getting a 20-yard sack that you know messes up field position, if nothing else. Jermaine Effetti jumping off uh, false starting a few times. Thomas Rawls uh, did not play a very good game. He had a couple of plays where he just left yards on the field. He had the fumble. He dropped a screen pass that might have been something big. It, it was not a good game for some of those guys. And, of course, the elephant in the room, Jimmy Graham. He dropped a goal line fade touchdown on fourth down. He dropped a 25-yard catch, which might have been a 50-yard touchdown for all we know. I know he played better in that second half, but I'm telling you, if he hauls in even one of those catches, if he hauls in that goal line fade, the one-yard touchdown that he should have had, whole game changes, everything's different, everything is less stressful, everything is easier, and there are a lot of tight ends in this league who would catch that pass no problem. So if Jimmy's not going to offer anything better than you know, three catches in the last 35 minutes of the game, a couple of big plays, and then a garbage time touchdown, then I absolutely think we have tight ends on this roster who can do better. So I'm not I'm not done with Jimmy yet. He's going to have to have a few good games in a row to win me back. But the second half was not a bad start. I, I'll, I'll give him that. But yeah, the most important thing I saw from this game, other than the win, was that the offense moved the ball. We ran the ball semi-successfully. Eddie Lacy had some good carries. Thomas Rawls, um, you know, he had one or two good plays, but like I said, he left some stuff out there with some of the mistakes he made. Uh, we were hitting Doug Baldwin on third down over and over again. It it was a product... Amara Darbo had two early catches in this game, actually, which was great. Um, it's It's good stuff. Just need to clean up one or two plays here or there, and this team would have had, you know, 17 points at half. It might be 17 to nothing, it might be 17 to 7, or whatever it may have been. And then the whole rest of the game just feels so much less stressful. So, it's close, guys. And then, of course, in the second half, things opened up. Um, we basically just went to a huck it, chuck it offense. Baldwin had a big game. Paul Richardson made a big play where... I don't know if he caught the ball. I've got to be real with you guys. I don't know if he caught the ball, but I also think that the pass interference call on Tyler Lockett was bullshit. That's a 30-yard touchdown they took off the board, so I'm going to say it all comes out even, personally. Um, yeah, it was a good game by the offense, and most main, mo primarily, you would look at the quarterback play. Uh, Russell Wilson... 334 passing yards, three touchdowns, should have had five. That's the thing. He could have had a record-breaking day. He could have had a 400-yard, five-touchdown day if it wasn't for a couple of big drops and a couple of uh, significant mistakes. So, good news there. Offensive line played pretty well, I thought, especially given who they were missing. I know Abushi got blown up by uh, Damon Harrison on a couple plays. I know that... It, like I said, a Fetty blew some stuff. I know Odiombo is never going to be a really good player, but offensive line looked about as good as you could hope for, especially in pass protection. Promising stuff. We just need to clean a couple of things up, and those good drives in the first half can actually result in points. Because next week we're playing the Houston Texans, we got the Washington Redskins, we got the Falcons, the Eagles. The, these teams that were coming up that are coming up over the next five weeks. If we do not score in the first half, they're going to be up 14 to nothing on us at half, and it's going to be completely different. It's going to feel completely different, and we might not be able to claw back into it. In this game, the Giants' offense basically did nothing the whole game. We were able to get away with screwing around for about 25 minutes. But we need to turn some of these good drives into points starting next week. And I've seen progression, but I need to see it actually turn into production starting next week. All right, guys, pretty good win. Um, like I said, a couple of plays just didn't quite go our way. Um, in this game, like I said, like, you know, getting down to inside the 10-yard line, having, like, 10 chances to get in the end zone and you don't do it. 
Um, you know, you flip that around. If any of those plays just end up in the end zone, this game might have been a significant blowout, actually. But that's how close these margins are. All right. I'll talk about the Houston game when it's time to talk about the Houston game, but today's a day to be happy with the way the team played because um, progression, guys, we're getting there.